Hey cuties and welcome back to another video. I am so excited to be sharing a new built CC pack by a winged llama with you today. I will of course put a link to the Patreon post in the description down below. It features 75 new built CC items. There's also some like doors and stairs and floorings and wallpapers in it and it's called Nostalgia Living which honestly hits so hard for me um, and I think it will for you if you grew up in the 90s as well. <laughs> It is just, it has so many cute items in it and I can't wait to show them all off. And I have also done like a built CC showcase video for a pack by a winged llama before, but that was literally at the end of 2021. <laughs> And I frequently check out their Patreon for new stuff, but they post new packs like sparsely throughout the year, which is totally worth it because whenever a pack comes out, I'm like, oh my god, this is just so cute. Same is true for this one. I was just looking through all of the things and I was just obsessed. I would say it's leaning maybe more Max's match with some of the items. Specifically, I would say the items in like the comfort category. You will already have seen by now that I kind of split the video up into different parts if i remember i will put chapters on the video so you have like quicker access to whatever you are trying to look at because i just went by all of the categories in the buy catalog so like comfort then there's surfaces i think then there's electronics just stuff like that so it's a bit more organized instead of me just going through 75 items on end <laughs> i thought this might make like a little bit more sense and i would say that these like sofas and armchairs maybe lean a little bit more towards like mixed matches ma max's match i can't talk today i'm so sorry just because I, I wouldn't say they're like super sharp but i'm still obsessed i think they're so cute and with all of like the other furniture items i thought they were just amazing and they look very very much max's match to me i just think they're so cute this wallpaper as well that we have an on for the whole um video is just oh, everything it's so cute and i don't actually remember my parents having this sort of style in the 90s but i remember whenever i watched like anything on tv or my grandma as well my grandma's interior design used to be a little bit closer to this than my parents my parents were kind of like hippies back then so i think our place looked a little bit different but a lot of these are like very hard hitting where i'm like oh my god this used to be like everywhere in the 90s <laughs> and it's just so cute also this pack comes Comes like in a merch pile so there's no individual items that's why I didn't put any numbers on the screen because you're just gonna get all of these things in the same file otherwise for cc packs if they are split up into individual files i would download those and then obviously put numbers on the screen and link you to the direct item like just link the item name so you can see what you're getting but like i said this is all in like one file so <laughs> i don't know what these items are called uh, i mean I, there's names uh, for them obviously in game but i don't know if that also translates to i mean there is no individual files what am i talking about <laughs> i feel like my brain is so scrambled today i honestly Honestly, try to record the intro for this video or like just the voiceover I don't do intros and then you know record another part of the voiceover I just kind of do it in like a whole one one recording sometimes I get interrupted by my cats or something but that's very rare that I actually edit out something for my voiceovers it's just a little bit of you know stream of consciousness because I love when I listen to voiceovers that I like that where you can really just hear that the person is thinking about stuff I don't know uh, it's obviously very different to like super edited videos where like every half second of pause is gonna get edited out and you just have like very condensed talking I guess it's just like moving faster but I feel like for these videos it's just so cozy whenever I watch people just rambling on it's kind of like a podcast kind of nice I just you know I think it's really nice to listen to so hopefully you do too I mean hopefully you're not, hopefully you're not like Cora can't you edit your voiceovers and literally cut out all of the crap where you like ramble on or say a million times I feel like I say like a lot just said it twice proving the point <laughs> I feel like I say that so much and it's definitely like a filler word because 
Um, English is not my first language or my native language, whatever you want to call it. So a lot of times when I'm thinking about what I want to say, I would say like. I think I do it in German too, though, to be honest. <laughs> I can't remember. I also talk awfully fast. I think that might be connected to the ADHD because everyone I know who has ADHD talks incredibly fast. And I guess I'm on that too. My brain just like, you know, moves nonstop. So the talking also moves nonstop. So sometimes there's a like in between when I'm thinking about the way I want to use or what I want to say or you know when there's kind of a break in my thoughts I'm like like and whenever I listen back to my um, voiceovers I'm like oh my god can you stop saying like please for the love of god find a different word to say <laughs> so I'm sorry if it bothers you um, it's just how I talk I guess unfortunately maybe I need to make like a conscious effort to find other filler words that I can use definitely not M because there's so many people oh my god I I know this from school, like certain teachers would just say M every third word. It was like literally in, in one sentence you had 10 M's and it would drive me insane, especially once you notice it, you can't unnotice it. And then you just sit there for the rest of your school career having to listen to this teacher say M over and over and over again and it drives you crazy. <laughs> so I hope, I hope it's not that bad. I hope I don't say it as much as my teachers used to say M back in the days. Also a thing with professors at university, honestly, there is one guy who starts off his because I do uni from at home so all of my lectures are recorded. I can watch and listen back to them whenever I want. And there's one professor who always starts his videos like literally the same. He always smacks his mouth which oh, it drives me crazy. I hate hearing like noises from, I don't know, mouths and from eating and oh, gross. And he literally always starts his videos off by smacking his lips and I'm like, mm -mm, nope, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I hate that. Is there something that drives you crazy when people say like certain words or noises people make? Because I'm literally the worst with eating, specifically when it comes to my boyfriend, which apologize to him because I bet it's annoying when I'm constantly like, stop chewing. <laughs> I can't stand eating noises. It's fine as long as your mouth, this is so weird, it's fine if your mouth is closed whilst you eat and it's fine if it's like crunchy and not wet sounds, but as soon as something sounds wet inside someone's mouth whilst they're eating it, I'm just like, oh, out here gagging and finding it super disgusting. <laughs> I think everyone is on board with me there though, right? Like people hate eating noises. I'm definitely not the only one, but whatever. <laughs> videos coming to an end real soon here. I hope you enjoyed all of the CC and if you did enjoy the video as well, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you have not already and I will see you all next time. Bye! Digging deep down to turn up You say I'm not your god Come on you didn't